Now let's talk about the um, context of this course. Scrum itself is, is very, very small, but it's still pretty extensive. You know, how to use it, when to use it, what the best practices are. And Scrum consists of rules, roles, um, some time boxes, and some artifacts. So roles might be Scrum Master, Product Owner, and the Development Team. The only role that we're talking about this course is the Development Team, the people who turn the product back like I'm into an increment of potentially shippable software. So all we're talking about here is not the, we are not talking about the product backlog, we're not talking about how it's constructed, we're not talking about how it's estimated, how it's prioritized, groomed, um, the wording, whether it's in word, user stories or use cases. All we're talking about is the fact that some product backlog items will be selected by a team during a sprint planning meeting working with the product owner. What we care about is the team's ability to take product backlog items that they selected, lay out a plan, demonstrated usually in a sprint backlog, which is the list of tasks that they plan to do to turn the product backlog item they've selected into something done. And we intend to train the team on how to turn that product backlog item into something that is done, an increment that is potentially shippable by the customer. And we intend to teach them all of the engineering practices to do so and the tooling on which they should use these engineering practices. We will cover the daily scrum, which is where the team gets together and looks at its progress toward achieving what it is committed to to the product owner. We won't necessarily talk about whether the product owner should be there, whether the scrum master should be there. We'll instead look at the people in the course being able to self-organize within that daily scrum. So a lot of things this course isn't. The only thing it is is the sprint itself and the team turning a product backlog item into something that is potentially shippable or done. The other items are things that are taught to the scrum masters, to the product owners, and are their responsibilities. We're focusing very, very, very closely on the problem that's giving us flaccid scrum right now. Development skills, the skills of a professional scrum developer. Thank you.